Hi friends, how are you today? Today I'm gonna read you a story, but first let's talk about the seasons. Not too long ago, it was winter. Do you remember? It was cold, we had to wear coats and hats, and in some places it snowed. We talked about this back in January, but now, now it's spring. What happens in spring? What are some of the things that are happening around you now? Plants and grass are growing faster. There's flowers blooming. Animals are starting to have babies. And we're starting to work in our gardens. Have you been helping mom and dad garden at home? Planting plants and pulling weeds and trimming bushes. What kinds of things have you been doing outside? Yeah? All right, well, do you know what's good for a garden? Worms. Have you seen any worms in your garden? Where do you find worms? They love to live down in the dirt. So if you're gardening with mom and dad, you might see worms down in the dirt. So today we're gonna to read a book that's gonna tell us a little bit about what earthworms do down in the dirt. The title of the book is An Earthworm's Life and it's written and illustrated by John Himmelman. If it says that the book is written and illustrated by someone, that means that that one person did both jobs. He was the author who wrote the story and he was the illustrator who drew the pictures. Are you ready to find out about earthworms? Great. An Earthworm's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. An earthworm spends most of its hit life hidden beneath our feet. Do you see the big toe here? And the earthworm's way down here in the dirt. In spring, an adult earthworm leaves its egg case in an underground burrow. What do you think an egg case is? What do you think is in that egg case? Two months later, a baby earthworm hatches from its egg. It crawls out of the egg case. Do you think an egg case has only one earthworm in it? Probably not, there's probably more than that. The young earthworm tunnels through the soil. What's another word for soil? Do you know what soil is? Soil is the same thing as dirt. At night, it feeds on dead leaves. Do you eat dead leaves? No, you don't eat dead leaves, but earthworms love to eat dead, dead leaves. Sometimes the earthworm eats soil. Do you remember what soil is? That's right, soil is dirt. The soil goes through the earthworm's body. It comes out as a pile of round balls called castings. By fall, the earthworm is nearly full grown. It pulls dead plants into its burrow. Do you remember what a burrow is? We talked about burrows with some of the other animals we've looked at. A burrow is like a big tunnel that an animal lives in under the ground. The earthworm eats the plants until winter. Then it is time to sleep. We talked in January about animals that sleep during the winter. Do you remember what the big word is that means to sleep during the winter? That word is hibernate. Can you think of other animals that hibernate? Bears? Um, I don't remember some of the other animals, but maybe you can. Spring rains bring the earthworms back to the surface. When a hungry mole comes near the earthworm, can sneak away. The earthworm begins to look for a mate. A mate is another word for, um, for the mom or dad. It finds one outside a nearby burrow. Soon, Part of the earthworm's body bulges with eggs.
A ring full of eggs comes loose. The earthworm slips out of it. The ring becomes the egg case. The earthworm leaves it behind. When the earthworm comes above ground, a robin grabs it. Oh no, what do you think the robin's gonna do with that earthworm? Yeah, she's probably gonna eat it or she's gonna take it to feed it to her babies. The robin struggles to pull the earthworm out of its tunnel. But the earthworm is strong. The robin gives up. One summer night, heavy rains fall from the sky. So as the rains fall and fill up the ground, where do you think the water's gonna go? What happens if the water goes down into the earthworm's tunnel? What will happen to the earthworm? By morning, the earthworm's burrow is filled with water. It searches for a dr drier place to live, but it gets stranded on a basketball court. Can an earthworm live on a basketball court? Not for very long. What do you think is gonna happen to that earthworm? A young boy picks up the earthworm. He puts it in a garden. The earthworm spends the rest of the summer tunneling among roots and eating soil. When cold weather returns, the earthworm sleeps underground. In spring, the earthworm begins a new journey. So what do you think happens in spring? Do you think it's gonna start all over again? The earthworm is gonna have a new, gonna shed a new egg case and new babies are gonna be born? That's exactly what happens. That happens with a lot of animals. And that's why we start seeing so many baby animals in the spring. Now, earthworms are really important to us. So the next thing I want you to do is I'm gonna give you an activity you can do at home. You have to ask mom and dad first and you have to find my next video. My next video is gonna be about how to make dirt pudding. So you'll get to eat dirt and you'll get to eat worms. So watch for that video and you'll find out how to take this book and make it something that you can eat.